then you need to do some settings before it can turn back to English language. So this, uh, this one now is locally designed for Chinese. So you can hardly understand everything unless you are using Google Translator. But to save your time, let's um practical let's do it practically let's do it one after the other so now you need to come to your profile here once you come to your profile here you will see these settings showing at the upper see country and region and language so you see this last two here is what we are going to be dealing with click on global which is the last option here you click on it global simply means worldwide so they should understand that anything worldwide should be in English. All right. If you want your 168 to be displaying in English settings, just like what you are seeing on the screen right now, where everything would be displaying in English like this, that you'll be able to, that it will be very easy for you to do what? To see everything in English, right? In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can change all your Chinese, like everything on your 168 to Chinese, from Chinese language to English language. So let's get started. So welcome back to the channel if this is your first time of seeing the content like this my name is samuel joshua and of course this is the voice of zion hub logistics limited so we are a procurement uh, company we are a sourcing agent we train people we do all sorts of e-commerce related businesses so what you want to do to join our community is to smash that subscription bell make sure you like the video comment and also share to whomsoever you think this video will be helpful to. So in a very quick one, what we are going to be looking at today is how you can change your what? Your 168 that is displaying in Chinese language, how you can easily change it to English, just like what you have seen in the screen before now. Okay. So there might be a whole lot of um, things that can cause your 168 not to display in English, in English settings. And there are some factors that you need to tackle. And there are some settings that you need to fix it, which is what I'm going to be sharing with you shortly. So now let's look into the video properly. So the first thing is after you must have downloaded your 168, okay? There are some 168 version that does not support English language. If you are using a old 168 account, the first thing you need to do, even before I show you the settings now, is to either go and delete the 168 app, download the latest version. That's the first thing. Before I show you under the settings, because we have three to four steps. To complete the setup so now you need to go to your app store or play store if you are using android that should be play store if you are using iphone that should be app store right so if you are also using samsung you will find it in your um what is it called play store too so now you need to type 168 make sure the version you downloaded is up to date do you understand if it's saying updates just like what you are seeing here the first thing you will need to do is to click on update you need to update it to a latest version so the way they upgrade 168 it comes with different type of what different type of settings different site to, um, different types of upgrade do you understand so that's how they design their app so once you are done downloading it now the next thing you will do is to enter the app itself. Once you enter the app itself, then you need to do some settings before it can turn back to English language. So this app, uh, this one now is locally designed for Chinese. So you can hardly understand everything 
unless you are using google translator but to save your time let's um practical let's do it practically let's do it one after the other so now you need to come to your profile here once you come to your profile here you will see these settings showing at the upper right hand side of the screen you click on that settings icon there you can see we have different type of features here so this is what you will do from here just screenshot once you click on screenshot go to your google translator here let me look my google translator you come to your google translator here open your camera then upload it directly it's very simple so it's going to scan it and translate it for you so once he's done doing this can you see now so we have varieties of option here the first one says account switching shipping addresses account and security payment privacy country and region and language so you see this last two here is what we are going to be dealing with do you understand we all know that chinese which is china they don't understand english language that is why you will see all their things written in chinese language do you understand as our official language in africa is english that's the same way their official language in china is in chinese so you need to change this region to a english speaking region first do you understand so now we need to go back here come to this last or second to the last we are presently pointing here click on it so you can see here we have four we have Vietnam. we have this one then the first one is chinese so you need to click on global which is the last option here you click on it global simply means worldwide so they should understand that anything worldwide should be in english that's the first thing we have set it to global now that's why you can see global here so the next thing here is to come to the language you need to select your language which of the language are you speaking which of the language do you want so you need to come here click on it then you select english as your preferred language but before then we are available for procurement if you want us to help you procure your item if you want us to help you ship your items down to nigeria then we are also into gadgets training if you want to learn how to start gadgets importations or you can do everything we have the complete training then we are also an exchange we are also an exchanger we help you fund your alipay we help you we help you create it we help you we also sell verified alipay accounts okay if you want to buy a verified alipay account we sell taobao accounts we sell 168 accounts anything at all you can consult us on the number displaying on your screen right now okay so that haven't been said you are going to click on english here so after you click on english you can see here that automatically everything is displaying in english you can see here now that it is now back to english so everything you are going to be seeing here now will be english language it's very very simple as that i hope you understand how you can change it now so that's typical practical on how you can change what how you can change your 168 from chinese app to english language okay so i hope you find value in watching to this tutorial if you want more helpful tutorial like this then you need to subscribe to our youtube channel once you subscribe youtube will be able to notify you that zion hub logistics limited has already what has already posted another video okay so once you subscribe turn on the notification bell so youtube will be able to notify you like our videos and also share it to whoever you think this video will be helpful to so i hope you find value in watching to this tutorial thank you guys for watching to this very hint and i will definitely see you in my next tutorial bye and peace out